Hi everybody, today we're doing contour drawings and please look back at my last video about blind contour and uh, now I'm going to do a video about contour drawing where you're looking. And we're going to be using our hand as um, our subject matter and contour line is a slow introspective line um, that is not a sketchy line. So a contour line is not going to move back and forth like this and create a sketch. Instead, it's going to be a slow, continuous line, um, which with, within which you can use pressure, but very different than a sketchy line. This is a contour line. This is a sketchy line. You, for this um, way of drawing, you want to use a contour line. We're going to be using our hand as our subject matter, and we're going to um, uh, pretend as if our eye um, is in actual contact with our subject, in this case, our hand. So as if my pencil and my eye were moving at the exact same speed, and I'm drawing really slowly, um, going through all of the edges, wrinkles, interior of my hand with a slow line. A contour line is not an outline. It moves in and out of the form, looking at edges, wrinkles, pattern. Um, so you don't want to just create an outline, something that looks like a cookie cutter shape. Instead, you want to move into the form itself. So let's get started. I'm going to um, choose a position in my hand. It's so fun to draw your hands. Uh, I definitely recommend... Uh, making some intersections with your fingers. The hardest way that you're gonna uh, draw your hand is if it's outright like this, uh, because the drawings end up looking like Thanksgiving turkey hands. Uh, instead, I would definitely intersect your fingers, make a fist, um, think about the interior uh, of your palm, looking at all the uh, wrinkles. Um, I'm gonna choose a form that's similar to what I did with the blind contour drawing. So. Uh, here we go. I'm going to walk you through it. I'm going to start here at the wrist, go up my thumb, go in inside all of the fingers, go inside of the palm itself, and exit on the other side of my wrist. So I'm going to start here. So I'm starting very slowly. I'm thinking about how my wrist um, is has a curve to it, how there's a slope that goes a little bit to the left, then changes at my thumb starts to go to the right. Um, then at my thumb, I start to see some wrinkles. Um, then I start to see my thumbnail. I'm going to go into the nail. I'm going to go up, over. I'm going to draw the white part of my nail. I'm going to come back and draw uh, my thumbnail itself, the thumb. And here I can make two choices. Either I can go down and start to draw the interior of my um, pointer finger and thumb, and I can exit back out and then draw the top of my um, pointer finger. Uh, so I can go kind of in either direction. I'm going to come back into the form, draw the bottom, and then co come in and draw the uh, fingernail. Now notice that I've allowed the lines of where I'm um, coming in and out of the form to continue to show I'm not lifting my um, my pencil. So make sure that you keep this as a continuous line. Uh, even as you're looking, you want all of these lines to basically uh, connect and uh, for you to move in and out of the form, really thinking about where you're seeing those intersections. I'm going to come back up. Uh, basically, once you start a contour drawing, it's as if you're in a little bit of a maze and you need to retrace your steps every time. I'm gonna come down and start to draw the uh, middle finger. I'm gonna come in and draw my nail. The white part of my nail. I'm gonna think about how that's curving and kind of pushing onto that other finger uh, where it's intersecting the um, middle or the pointer finger, where the top of the ring finger is. I'm going to come back in the other direction. I'm going to um, draw the bottom of my ring finger. I'm going to come in and draw the fingernail. I'm going to come back out and draw some of the wrinkles. I'm going to get to the top of the pinky. The top of the pinky, um, I see 
it starts to come in, has some wrinkles this way, curves down, gonna come in and draw the pinky nail, gonna come back out and think about that there's a, a wrinkle right here, come back up, draw the edge of that form, the outside of my palm, I'm gonna go in and draw the interior of the lines of my palm, go down, there's one more wrinkle that kind of connects to the one that I have already drawn. Come down again, then draw the bottom of my wrist and then come down. So um, as you can see, all the lines are slow and controlled and we're moving in and out of that form, really thinking about how things are intersecting. Um, so this is how you do a contour line. And it's really good to practice blind contour prior to doing contour where you're looking. So please do take a look at the blind contour video and you can see similarities and differences between them. The blind contour drawings should look a little bit uh, disproportionate. Um, this is also an incredible hand-eye coordination exercise. Uh, really helps you to be able to move your uh, pencil and your eye at the same time.